Hope, I've loved you for so long. I'm glad we can finally be together. Midas, this is so wrong. Aphrodite is like a sister to me. I... I can't do this to her, but why does this feel so right? Midas said 1 p.m., right? This is going to be such a lovely surprise. Aphrodite and I are done, Hope. It's you I want. We have something special. I feel something for you too, Midas. But what about Aphrodite? This will break her heart. How could they do this to me? My best friend. My boyfriend. Maybe... Maybe there's a misunderstanding. Maybe there's still hope for us. Gwen, you mean everything to me. I want us to be together, just you and me. I like you too. But Aphrodite, she's my friend. How can we do this to her? Don't worry about Aphrodite, we're over. It's just us now. Not again. Why Midas? Why? Twice betrayed. How could I ever trust love again? Aphrodite, please, let's talk about this. I don't understand why you're so upset. Talk? Talk about what? How have you been sneaking around with my friends? Kissing Hope? Spider Gwen? I swear to you, I haven't done anything. I don't know why you think I have, but it's not true. I saw you, with my own eyes. How dare you continue to lie to me? You have to believe me. I love you and only you. There's been some mistake. I can't do this anymore. You need to leave now. I'll go. But know this, Aphrodite. I've never lied to you, and I've never loved anyone but you. Oh, Hades, your plan is devilishly perfect. Watching Midas squirm under the spell, oblivious to his own actions, it's just too delicious. I knew a love spell would be the perfect distraction. He won't see what's coming until it's too late. And the best part is, he genuinely believes he's innocent. The confusion, the betrayal, it's tearing him apart from the inside. I'll easily take over his domain, his house, his yacht. They will all be mine, and the expansion of my empire will be unstoppable. Let's twist the knife a bit more, shall we? I'll seek out Midas, cast a little enchantment. Perfect, Medusa. With Midas and Aphrodite at each other's throats, nothing will stand in our way. Proceed with your part. I'm at my wit's end here. Aphrodite's convinced I've betrayed her with Hope and Spider-Gwen, but I have no memory of such acts. I need your help. If there's some trickery at play, we'll uncover it. I'll tell you. Discreet but close. Watching for any unusual behavior or external interference. I'll spend some time around the train station, a public place. If someone's orchestrating this, they might strike again. Keep your eyes peeled. You've got it, boss. I'll be your shadow. We'll get to the bottom of this. I don't know what I'd do without you. Let's clear my name and find out who's behind this mess. Brutus, anything suspicious yet? I feel like a sitting duck out here. All clear so far. Wait, hold up. Medusa's heading your way. Be on your guard. Hello, Midas. Fancy meeting you here. Listen closely. You will meet me at the cinema at 7 p.m. and you will kiss me, understand? Yes, I will meet you and kiss you at the cinema at 7 p.m. And now, to ensure Aphrodite sees everything. Perfect. Brutus, did you catch that? What just happened? I saw it. 
Medusa's cast some spell on you. We need to act fast to prevent whatever she's planning. Let's regroup and figure this out. I have a bad feeling about tonight. Midas, are you okay? Medusa did something to you. She's got you under some kind of spell. I... I don't remember anything. What did she do? Check your messages. She made you send something to Aphrodite. This... this isn't me. I didn't send this. She's trying to sabotage my relationship with Aphrodite. Listen, we can use this to our advantage. Go to the cinema as planned, but wear sunglasses. Maybe that'll block whatever she's doing to control you. You're right. I'll go. But I need to make sure Aphrodite knows the truth. She needs to know I love her, not this... spell-induced charade. I'll be there, in the background, just in case Medusa shows up. We'll break this spell. You and Aphrodite deserve the truth. Thanks. It's time to end Medusa's game and show Aphrodite where my heart truly lies. Welcome, Midas. Ready for our little, uh, rendezvous? Why am I here, Medusa? Enlighten me, please. Midas, what's this about? Nice try, Medusa, but your little parlor tricks won't work this time. What? How are you resisting? This can't be. It's over, Medusa. Your manipulations end here. What's happening? How did you... It's me. The real me. I've been fighting Medusa's spell, and I won. I'm here for you. Only you. I don't know what to say. You fought for us. Medusa cast a love spell on me. I had no control over my actions. Those moments with Hope, Spider-Gwen, they weren't me. Medusa manipulated it all, even texted you from my phone to drive us apart. So it was all a scheme? I should have known. I should have trusted our love. I love you more than anything. There's no spell in the world that could change that. I'd never betray you. I believe you, I love you too and we'll make Medusa pay for what she's done. How could this happen? How did Midas resist your spell? I don't understand it either. My magic has never failed before. Someone must have tipped him off, or he found a way to shield himself. Useless. I relied on you to handle this, and you failed. Midas is still a threat, and now he's onto us. We need a new strategy, and this time, I'll ensure there are no mistakes. Let me try again. I can fix this. We can lure Midas into another trap, one he won't see coming. No, Medusa. Your chance is over. I need to take matters into my own hands now. Your failure has cost us dearly. Be careful. Your arrogance might be your downfall. If you think you can do better, prove it. Oh, I will. I will craft a plan so devious. This isn't over. It's far from it. Aphrodite, why does your love feel like a puzzle with missing pieces? If only I could find the key to your heart. Oh, what am I saying? Focus, Midas. Focus on the task at hand. Well, well, if it isn't the golden boy himself, what brings you to my neck of the woods? Medusa, I'm here on, let's call it a personal mission, and it doesn't involve getting entangled in your snaky affairs. Oh, come on, Midas. Don't be such a stick in the mud. Maybe I can help you with your mission. Two heads are better than one, right? Or in my case, a few more. Tempting, but I'll pass. I've got enough on my plate trying to protect Aphrodite from whatever this anomaly is. Aphrodite, is that where your heart lies? Maybe you need someone a bit more captivating. 
Captivating is one word for it. Perilous is another. No offense, Medusa, but I think I'll handle this one solo. You're lost, golden boy. But remember, if you ever get tired of chasing after goddesses, I'm just a stone's throw away. I'll keep that in mind. For now, though, I've got a mystery to solve. Stay charming, Medusa. Seriously, Medusa, what part of no didn't you understand? Oh, Midas, you can't outrun fate or my affection. This is like a bad date that just won't end. Time to shake her off. Now, Midas, you wouldn't leave a lady hanging, would you? Let's not end our little dance so abruptly. This isn't a dance. It's a nightmare, and trust me, you're not the lady of my dreams. Oh, Midas, always so dramatic. Relax, let's see where this connection takes us. Connection? More like a collision course with disaster. I've got to resist. Medusa, think about what you're doing. Enchantment? Is that really how you want this to go down? Oh, Midas darling, when it comes to matters of the heart, or in our case, the absence of it, sometimes a little magical nudge is necessary. A nudge? This is more like a shove off a cliff. You can't just enchant someone into liking you. Why not? If I recall, you've used your golden touch in less than ethical ways. Consider this a taste of your own medicine. That was different. I've learned from my mistakes, and you, you should know better. There, there, Midas. Just relax. Soon, you'll see things my way. I... I don't feel so... Shh. It's all right. You're with me now, and I have so many things to show you. There you are. I've been waiting for you. How was your day? Oh, just the usual. Nothing out of the ordinary. But you know what? I was thinking, why don't we go out? Maybe enjoy a lovely evening together. That's quite the spontaneous suggestion. Usually I'm the one dragging you out. What's gotten into you? Well, you know, I just thought it might be nice to spend some quality time together, enjoy the night, and maybe forget our worries for a bit. I must say, I like this new spontaneous Midas. All right, let's go out and make the most of the evening. Come on, Midas, don't tell me the man with the golden touch can't catch a simple beach ball. Of course I can catch, it's just, I'm not really feeling like myself today. What's wrong? You've been acting strange since you got back. If there's something bothering you, you can tell me. It's nothing. Just a bit tired, I guess. Maybe we should head back? All right, if you say so. But remember, I'm here if you need to talk. Wait, what's gotten into you? Midas, darling, it's time you forgot about Aphrodite. You belong with me now, remember? Medusa, this isn't right. I don't want to end things with Aphrodite. This, whatever this is between us, it's not real. Not real? Let me refresh your memory then. What is this? Aphrodite, it's not what it looks like. I- And you, Medusa, using your spells to manipulate feelings? Is this how low you've stooped? Love is a battlefield, dear Aphrodite, and I intend to win by any means necessary. Tell me the truth. Are you under her spell or is this your choice? Aphrodite, I, I was under her spell. But that's no excuse. I should have been stronger. Being under a spell might explain it, but it doesn't excuse it. We have a lot to talk about, Midas. And you. This isn't over. I won't let you toy with people's emotions. Oh, I'm just getting started. Be ready. The game has only just begun.
I need your wisdom. Medusa is playing games with Midas's heart and I can't just stand by. Uh, Medusa and her tricks. What's she done this time? She's cast some sort of spell on Midas. He's not acting like himself. They even, they shared a kiss right in front of me. That's low, even for Medusa. But you know, dear, love spells are tricky. They don't create true love, just illusion and confusion. I just wait and hope that my love is strong enough to break Medusa's spell. Not just wait. Show Midas the depth of your feelings. Remind him of the bond you share. If there's even a spark of real emotion left in him, your love can fan it into a flame. Thank you, Hope. I won't let Medusa win. That's the spirit. And remember, Aphrodite, love conquers all. Even Medusa's enchantments. Must go, must find Medusa. Midas, where are you going at this hour? Talk to me. Why are you acting like this? What's pulling you away? Stop. You're not yourself, this isn't you. Must go to Medusa. Medusa has done this to you, but I won't let her win. I won't let her take you from me. I'll fight for us, no matter what it takes. Hold on, my love, I'll find a way to free you from this curse. How could this happen? Midas and Medusa, how could he betray me like this? I loved him, truly loved him. Was it all just a lie? Was I just blind? I give love, I embody love, and yet it eludes me, it betrays me. I thought I could be different with Midas. I thought we, we could be different. No more, I will not be a victim of love. If Midas has chosen his path, so will I. I am Aphrodite and I will not be undone by heartbreak. Love can heal and love can hurt, but above all, love endures, and so will I. Midas, we need to talk, now. What's wrong? I can feel something's not right. Not right? Oh, Midas, it's not right doesn't even begin to cover it. I know about you and Medusa. I saw everything. Please, let me explain. It's not what you think. Medusa, she cast a spell on me. I wasn't in control. That's your excuse? Whether it was a spell or not, the fact remains. You betrayed our love. You allowed her to come between us. Aphrodite, I love you. Only you. This spell twisted my actions, not my heart. I wish I could believe that. But love, love is about trust. And after this, how can I ever trust you again? Goodbye, Midas. Midas, wait. We just want a little token of your affection. Yes, a kiss should suffice. Ladies, I'm flattered, but I'm really not the kissing on the first encounter type. Let's not get carried away with the affectionate gestures. Just one little kiss, Midas. How hard could that be? We promise it won't turn you to stone. Ladies, please. There's only so much Midas to go around. Besides, my heart belongs to another. Another? Now you've piqued our curiosity. Who is she? Yes, do tell. We promise not to turn her into a statue, unless she's prettier than us. Her identity remains my secret. For now, let's just say she's the one treasure I'm still searching for. My 
Beside us, your reputation precedes you. I must say this party is as golden as they say. Indeed, I've explored many places, but this mansion is quite the treasure. A kiss from the host would make the evening perfect. Ladies, you honor me with your presence. If you're looking for treasures, I assure you, there are plenty around that don't involve my lips. Actually, I have something even more spectacular to show you. Follow me. just through here. Midas, what's the meaning of this? Looking for treasure, you said? I didn't expect a stable. Consider it a little diversion. Enjoy some time with my golden-maned friend there. I promise, he's quite the charmer. Well, Lara, it seems we've been outplayed. Indeed, but the night is young. Let's see what other adventures this mansion holds. There he is, the Golden Midas. Let's see if his heart is as susceptible to enchantment as everything else. Just one little spell. May the best enchantress win. Ah, what do we have here? A witch and a wizard in my personal retreat. To what do I owe this magical intrusion? Just a token of my affection, dear Midas. You'll soon find yourself unable to resist my charm. Not so fast. Midas, you'll find my magic far more compelling. You'll adore me and forget she even exists. Ladies, I'm flattered, really. But don't you think this is a bit... excessive? Back off! He's mine! In your dreams, he clearly prefers a more sophisticated enchantress. Golden touch golden heart. But it's time to depart. Let's leave the love spells to the amateurs. Note to self, avoid forests where witches and wizards roam, and maybe invest in some anti-enchantment armor. You know, Brutus, for once I thought I could enjoy a quiet cup of coffee without any enchantresses, witches, or wizards on my tail. Well, boss. It's not every day someone with a golden touch in a mansion that rivals Olympus itself walks into town. You're like a magnet for these folks. It's exhausting, Brutus. I just want some normalcy, you know? A day without spells, potions, or love-struck deities. Maybe it's not just your charm, Midas. Ever thought that maybe they're all after your giant mansion? I mean, who wouldn't want a piece of that? Perhaps you're right. Maybe I should downsize. Trade the mansion for a cottage. How's that for a change? A cottage? You? I'll believe it when I see it. Plus, how would you fit all your gold in a cottage? Very funny, Brutus. But really, maybe a simpler life wouldn't be so bad. Or maybe you need to start enchanting back, boss. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Now, there's an idea. Midas, the enchanter has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Well, boss, whatever you decide, I've got your back. Mansion or cottage, enchanter or not. Appreciated, Brutus. For now, let's just enjoy our coffee. Aphrodite, there's something I need to tell you. It's about these admirers I've encountered recently. Admirers? Oh, do tell. I'm all ears, Midas. Well, it seems I've become somewhat of an attraction to a few individuals. A witch, a poison ivy, even Wonder Woman and Lara Croft have shown a certain interest. Interest in you? And how, pray tell, did you respond to this interest? I, I assured them my heart belongs to someone else. You know, trying to keep things professional. Professional? Oh, Midas, you really are made of gold through and through. Cold and unyielding. Ow! Aphrodite, was that really necessary? Perhaps not. 
but consider it a reminder. My emotions are not to be trifled with. Duly noted, my dear. Your feelings are as clear as crystal now. No more admirer talk, I promise. Good. Now, uh, let's focus on something less electrifying, shall we? Cora, I didn't expect to find anyone here. This garden seemed like the perfect hideaway from, well, everything. Sometimes the best places are found when we're not really looking. Just seeking a moment's peace. It seems my newfound popularity isn't all it's cracked up to be. Popularity, fame, adoration. These are fleeting, Midas. They come and go like the seasons. But your integrity, your true self, that's what really matters. Well, it's simple yet effective. You pretend to be my girlfriend. If the word spreads that my heart is taken, perhaps the others will back off. Me, pretend to be your girlfriend? That's quite the scheme, Midas. But why choose me for this role? Because you're the only one I trust with this performance. Besides, your strong persona might just be the deterrent we need. All right, Midas. I'll play along with your little charade, but only if it brings you the peace you're seeking. Thank you, Cora. With you by my side, I'm sure the garden parties will be far less crowded. Aphrodite, I... I have news. It's about Midas. What about him? Speak quickly, Gwen. Well, it seems... Midas has a new companion. He's been seen with Cora, and they're... Well, they're pretending to be in a relationship. Pretending? With Cora? How dare he play such games, and with her? I thought you should know. I know how much you... Um... Care about Midas. Prepare yourself, Cora. You've awakened the wrath of love, and I will stop at nothing to protect what is rightfully mine. Midas, Cora, how dare you betray me with this, this facade? Aphrodite, please, let's not do this here. You've misunderstood our intentions. It's not what you think, Aphrodite. This was just a strategy, nothing more. A strategy? To deceive me? To make a fool of me in front of everyone? Stop, Aphrodite, don't do this. There's no need to escalate things further. You stand up for her? After everything? Aphrodite, I know you're hurt, but violence isn't the answer. Let's resolve this peacefully. No, I will not stoop to this. But no, this isn't over. Are you okay? I am. But I think we may have annoyed her. How dare you, Midas? Your deceit knows no bounds. I trusted you, I believed in us, but it was all lies, all manipulation. I don't just want you to suffer. I want to erase your very essence from this world. Love's curse is its intensity, both in adoration and in wrath. You will rue the day you chose to deceive a goddess of passion. Aphrodite, please, let's talk about this. I know I made mistakes, but my love for you is real. We can start over, mend what's broken. Start over? After your deceit, you played with my heart. There's no love left here, only ashes. She's not holding back. Should I? No, Brutus, put the gun down. We will not fight her. I, I can't hurt her. This isn't you, Aphrodite. Anger has clouded your judgment. I know I've wronged you, but there's still a chance for redemption for both of us. Redemption? Your words are as hollow as your promises. You'll never deceive me again. I'll do whatever it takes to earn her forgiveness, even if it costs me everything. 
I want you to feel the pain you've caused me. I want you gone. Brutus, we need to leave now. This yacht won't hold much longer. I'm not gonna let her destroy everything we've built. She needs to be stopped. No, Brutus, don't. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean... I'll get you out of here. Could I have been wrong? Was there truth in his heart after all? Hades. Help him, please. I shot him by mistake during the chaos with Aphrodite. Oh, Brutus. How clumsy of you to shoot your own ally. Let's see what I can do. tried to kill Aphrodite and shot me instead? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, Midas. It was all happening so fast. I... I was trying to protect our interests. Please forgive me. Thank you for saving me. Aphrodite. She's more dangerous than I realized. Forget about her, Midas. She's a distraction. We have bigger concerns. Dethroning Zeus. Focus on that. You're right. It's time to concentrate on the real battle. Zeus won't see us coming. How can I reach you, Aphrodite? To show you my heart, to seek your forgiveness. But you despise me, and rightly so. You summon me, Midas. What are your commands? Cerberus, I have a task for you. One of great importance and risk. Speak and it shall be done. I need you to infiltrate Zeus's domain, sneak into Aphrodite's chambers and bring her to me. It's personal. That's a dangerous venture. Zeus will not take kindly to an abduction. He will retaliate. I'm aware of the risks, but I must speak with her, explain myself. It's a chance I'm willing to take for, for a chance at redemption. Very well. If it's your will, I shall carry out this mission but we must be prepared for the consequences. Just bring her to me. Once I've had a chance to speak with her, to apologize, we can let her go. He jumped in front of the bullet for me. It makes me question everything. His actions. They seemed so genuine. Aphrodite, don't let one moment of bravery cloud your judgment. Midas has a history of deception. His motives are never clear. I know, I know his past. But what if people can change? What if his love for me is the catalyst? You can't base your feelings on a what if. Remember, he's caused so much pain, not just to you, but to others as well. You're right. I must think with my head, not just my heart, but it's hard. There's a part of me that still cares for him. It's okay to care, but don't let that care lead you back into turmoil. You deserve someone who's honest and true from the start. Perhaps you're right. It's time I moved on, closed this chapter. But deep down, I'll always harbor a sliver of love for him, even if we're worlds apart. Tomorrow's a new day, and I'll face it with a clear mind. Thank you, Hope, for everything. Another quiet night. I swear, the most exciting thing around here is when the cook burns the toast. Easy does it. Midas wasn't exaggerating when he said this would be a simple task. There she is, the goddess of love herself, blissfully unaware of her fate tonight. Forgive me, goddess. But orders are orders. Midas needs this conversation with you. Where, where am I? What has happened? Aphrodite, my dear, you're safe. 
I brought you here because... Because I needed to see you, to tell you how much I love you. Safe? You call being kidnapped and locked in a cell safe? Midas, have you lost your mind? Bringing me flowers in a place like this? I know it seems extreme, but I had no other way. I couldn't get close to you, and I needed you to hear me out to understand my feelings. Understand your feelings? By imprisoning me? Midas, this is madness. Your actions are unforgivable, driven by obsession, not love. I... I see now the folly of my ways. I am truly sorry. It was not my intention to scare you or cause you distress. Mida's true love does not coerce or confine. It respects, it nurtures. Aphrodite, please don't go. I love you more than anything. Can't you see the pain I'm in without you? Your pain doesn't excuse your actions, Midas. You can't just take what you want, especially not someone's freedom and or their heart. Come here to me and give me a hug. Don't you dare touch me. Your so-called love is just obsession and control. I will never be a part of your twisted world. I... I thought we could be happy together. I see now how wrong I was. Let this be the end, Midas. I want nothing to do with you. Never approach me again. Goodbye, Midas. I hope one day you'll understand the true meaning of love and respect. All I wanted was to play Candy vs. Fruit, the game from Seasons with the code below. But now I have to deal with this nonsense. Where is he? No one treats me like that without facing Olympus's wrath. Well, if it isn't the goddess of love, didn't expect you to crash this party. I'm not just a pretty face, I'm an Olympian warrior. Could have fooled me with all those love songs and poems. Swim back to Hades and tell him he's next. Midas, how do you always manage to look so... composed? Aphrodite, even in the heat of battle, one must maintain a certain... allure. After all, you never know who might board your yacht. I came here furious, ready to... And now, seeing you, I... It's okay. We've been through a lot, haven't we? Can't we put the past behind us? This isn't just about the past. You've caused chaos, not just in my world, but in... And I regret it, truly. If I could turn back time, if I could undo the pain I've caused... I want to believe you. I really do. Let's create a future where we're not defined by our past mistakes. Maybe there's a chance for us after all. You must be Aphrodite. I'm Marigold, this yacht's namesake, and more importantly, Midas's daughter. Marigold, what a lovely name. Yes, I'm Aphrodite. Your father and I were just catching up. Dad, are you sure it's wise to mingle with Olympians again? Especially after everything? It's all right, Marigold. Aphrodite and I have a complex history, but we're starting anew, right? Well, I'll be keeping an eye out. Dad's been through enough without inviting more drama. Don't worry, Marigold. I have no intention of causing any trouble. I'll be inside. Remember what I said, Dad. That's my girl. Fiercely loyal and protective. Anyway, about that date. Yes, I'd like that. Let's meet later. Away from prying eyes and protective daughters. It's a date then. Until tonight, Aphrodite. There you are. I've been waiting. We need to talk about Aphrodite. Tell me about it. After the thrashing she gave me, I'm all ears for any plan against her. She's bewitched my father, and I won't stand by while she weaves her web around him. We need to act, and fast. Even goddesses have weaknesses. We find hers, 
Exploit it, and make sure she can no longer interfere in your father's life, or mine. Exactly. I'll keep an eye on her, learn her routines, her likes, her dislikes. Knowledge will be our weapon. And I'll gather some intel from the Underworld. There might be a few old scores that can be settled with her downfall. I'm really looking forward to this evening with Midas, but I can't shake the feeling that Marigold might try to interfere. Marigold is quite protective of her father, isn't she? But I might have a solution to keep her occupied. Oh, do tell. Why not set her up with someone else for the evening? Someone who can ensure she's too preoccupied to meddle in your affairs. Interesting. And who did you have in mind? How about Hades? He's got his own agenda, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind playing along if it means causing a bit of chaos. Hades and Marigold? That's an unusual pairing. But you're right, it might just work. And it could have the added benefit of making Midas a tad jealous. Exactly. A little jealousy never hurts. All right, I'll arrange it. Tonight, I'll focus on Midas and let Hades handle Marigold. What's all this? Planning a little late night hunting, are we? Oh, Artemis, we were just ensuring our defenses are in order. You know, routine checks. Exactly. Can't be too careful these days. Speaking of being careful, I've been thinking, Marigold. You've been quite isolated since you arrived. How about a change of pace? A blind date, perhaps? A blind date? Here on Olympus? Yes. There's someone who's quite eager to meet you. Very influential and, let's say, quite the catch. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to meet someone new. It does get lonely here, away from home. But our plan... It can wait, Brutus. Tonight, I'll take a break. Who knows? This might be an interesting evening after all. Wonderful. I'll make the arrangements. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. I hope you know what you're doing, Mary Gold. Tonight's the night. Aphrodite, you'll see just how much I've changed. Let's make this evening unforgettable. For all the right reasons. Well, Hades, let's see if you can impress me. Tonight might just be full of surprises. Marigold, huh? This should be interesting. Let's add a little intrigue to the night. To new beginnings and putting the past where it belongs. To a night of possibilities. Not your typical underworld fair, I admit but I thought we'd try something different. It's beautiful. Thank you, Hades. Marigold, what are you doing here? With him. Dad, I could ask you the same, and with Aphrodite, no less. Seems our little gathering has taken an unexpected turn. This evening just got a lot more interesting. You and Hades? Is this some kind of joke? I'm my own person, Dad. And you, rekindling with the goddess who... Let's not turn this into a spectacle. We're all adults, albeit immortal ones. Let's talk this through. There's clearly more at play here than dinner plans. You, what are your intentions with my daughter? Are you using her to get to me? Midas, your paranoia is unbecoming. Marigold and I simply share. Mutual interests. Marigold, this isn't about us. Your father and I have history, yes, but our intentions are our own. I don't trust you, Aphrodite. Your history has caused enough turmoil. I won't let you manipulate us. Your fear blinds you, Midas. Open your eyes to the real threat. Can't you see? We're not enemies. 
Our fates are intertwined, for better or worse. No, you're just trying to weave your influence around everyone you meet. This isn't over. Indeed, it's far from it. Let's find a path to understanding, for all our sakes. Thank you.